development started rather early when I started speed surfing uh, within the German Speed Association. And they were using cameras and 500 meter long cables and a lousy software to do the evaluation. And I saw some room for improvement there. So I switched over to a wireless connection and reprogrammed all the software. And after the GPS technology evolved, I also developed software for that purpose because it's much less hassle to use GPS as compared to video, of course. But if you do record attempts, we need the video as a proof. And that is why there is still video timing. With my software, we have linear interpolation between the frames and that gives you more accuracy. And video timing gives you a proof because you can see on the images who the rider is. You can see the sail number, you can see everything. The risk using GPS, which can be as accurate as video timing as well, is that you don't have a proof that the rider did the speed. Technically, the, the accuracies are comparable nowadays. The problem is that we have a very hostile environment here. It's very windy, so we have to protect the cameras from the storm and from the, from the wind. And we don't want to use cables, because the cables also can get damaged by animals or, or by, the, by the conditions. We have a camera at the start line, one camera at the finish line, wireless transmission of the images. The images get their timestamps, are recorded by a digital video recorder, and later on the evaluation is done with a laptop to interpolate between the frames and start and finish line. Yes, of course, uh, video timing is much more complicated and takes much more effort to set up a system, measure the course, and you are fixed to that course then, but it makes it official in the end. With GPS, you are more flexible, it's cheaper, everybody can use it at every time, and you can select where you go fast yourself. It's not limited to the start and finish line, and that, of course, also gives you, gives you a little advantage. In the future, the GPS chips will get more accurate, 10 hertz sampling rate will, will be the standard, and then we are not far away from official ratification, I would say, to do also GPS records officially.